Joanne wrote most of her book in an Edinburgh cafe. It's very lonely sitting at home all day on your own with a computer. And if you come out and are surrounded by other people, then you, you feel like you've seen other human beings during the day. <laughs> you've um, got friends. And exactly. Life. So tell me, what was it like when you saw your first book in the shop? That was the best moment of all. Better than anything that has come since was me seeing it. And it was a real book in a proper real bookshop and it was wonderful, it really was. Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone is the first of many books Joanne has planned. There will be seven and I've, I've just finished number two, that will be published next summer. It's called Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets and Harry finds out that he has a certain power that sets him apart from other wizards. Ah. There's some quite scary stuff in it as well. I'm writing book three at the moment. Have you got any advice then for budding authors out there who want to write their first book? The way I arrived at writing a book was that I've been writing for years and years and years since I was very young, outside school and so on. And um, I think you need to practice. You need to practice and work out what, was, what worked and what didn't work and keep going and probably start by writing about things you know about, um, your own feelings or subjects you know a lot about.